Hello, in this video I would like to show how to find subscribers who have received two or more communications in the last seven days in order to suppress this audience from your future campaigns in order to avoid marketing pressure. So the first thing that we need to do is to actually create our target data extension that we're going to use to suppress from our future campaigns. So first we need to navigate to data extensions. They can be found in the email studio under subscribers here. Then you will be redirected to this overview screen. Then you need to select the folder where you would like to select your data extension and then press on create. So we're going to create a standard data extension. First, we're going to give it a name. Let's simply call it Suppression DE. We can choose if it is sendable or testable. And we can def uh, decide on the retention settings. And now we can define the fields that we want to see in our target data extension. So we're going to choose uh, to create a field subscriber key, email, and uh, event date. Now we have to choose the correct data type. So for email, we're going to go for email address and for event date, date and subscriber key remains the text. Of course, you can uh, create more fields for your data extension, but, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to limit ourselves with the, this free data extensions and press on create. So now our target data extension has been created. We can see it's here. It obviously has zero records at the moment. And now we have to create the SQL query that then is going to populate this target data extension. So this is how the SQL query for the scenario of uh, finding subscribers who have received two or more communications in the last seven days is going to look like. So we need to find a data views sent and subscribers and perform an inner join based on subscriber key between them. We can easily distinguish uh, data views because they all start with an underscore. Then we choose the date and then we create a subquery uh, by counting subscriber key fields in the subscribers uh, data view and we select to find uh, more than two. Now I'm going to show how to recreate the same scenario using Deselect, a no-code segmentation solution for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So now I'm going to create a selection in Deselect. So first we need to open Deselect. In order to do this, we need to navigate from the menu uh, in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and under App Exchange, you can find Deselect. Then you will be redirected to this overview screen and press on New Selection. We're going to give a name to our new selection. Let's simply call it Suppressions DE. And now from the available data extensions, we can find the desired data view. We're going to find a data view subscribers, drag and drop it simply to the right. Now we can provide an alias to our data uh, extension or data view, but we're going to save it as it is. And now on top of it, we need to uh, find another data view, which is sent and drag and drop it on top of subscribers. Again, we can provide an alias, but we're just going to save it like this. And now we can actually create a relationship between them. So this is basically a visual representation of the joints and by default it is set on the inner join. So the only thing that we need to change here is the fields that we're going to create a relationship on. So we're going to choose subscriber key from subscribers data view. So subscribers with matching sent. And here instead of uh, account ID, we're going to go for the subscriber key uh, and press save. Now we can move on to the different filtering criteria. So we want to uh, find subscribers who have received more than two uh, communications in the last seven days. So first we're going to filter on the date. So from the sent data view, we're going to drag and drop the field event date and choose relative. Uh, click on before now and here select seven days before now. Now we need to find a, a subscriber key key field from uh, send data view, drag and drop it to the right, choose here in results, then type in data view subscribers. I will move myself here and 
from subscribers choose field subscriber key basically creating a subquery here now we click on this funnel button and choose here subscriber key move again a little bit and here we need to press on this formula and we're going to press on count and to count the number of times subscriber key exists in data view subscribers so we're going to choose greater than or equal to 2 and save and that's it now we can move on to the target definition in this step we can create our target data extension right here on the fly or populate uh, the existing data extension so we're going to create one uh, right here so we're going to provide a name for it let's call it suppressions uh, data extension we can choose if it is sendable testable provide the retention policy and press save so uh, for the fields we're going to go with the subscriber key from subscribers data view then uh, email address and then event date here of course we can choose more uh, fields from our source data extensions or data views but we're going to limit ourselves for the purposes of this video with these three fields and press on save and create now we can move on to the preview screen and press run preview and preview will bring us back the first 20 results for our uh, selection if we are satisfied with the results we can always press run and the query will be run in salesforce marketing cloud and our target data extension will be populated however if we are not satisfied with the results we can always go back to the previous steps and uh, do um, the editing that is required for this so this screen you will see when your selection has run you can see the subscriber key email address and event date fields you can see the 20 records out of 81 records in total of course you can see that this is an example data because the year is not correct here but this is just because we haven't sent uh, that much communication to the subscribers in the last seven days so you can treat this as a example and that's it for today's video uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this yeah, if you're curious about Salesforce Marketing Cloud uh, best practices and tips and tricks and thank you for watching this video and bye